Today I'm here in uh, Hove, I'm at Dugard, and in fact I've come um, for a different reason to what I'm going to talk about now. I've come to look at some of the uh, new machines that they've got in stock that are available for quick delivery. So there'll be videos on those coming to the channel very soon. But what I want to tell you about now is something I spotted and spoke to Colin Thompson about and said I really want to get this on camera to show our audience uh, of, of what Dugard are capable of, but not just what they're capable of, what this solution has, is going to give to the engineer or the company that has purchased it. And I can tell you who they are too. So let's have a look. So what we've got here is a Dugard Schmeck SL2000SY. Now this machine has been purchased by Empire Manufacturing, who are in Essex, and I've just come off the telephone uh, from Stuart, who is the managing director there, and I've asked him why he purchased the machine, uh, what it's replacing, and I'll tell you all those things now. Now, first of all, uh, to set the scene a little bit, this machine is all about flexibility. This cell is all about complete and utter flexibility. This SL2000 machine is equipped with a robo job load and unload unit. But in addition to that, we also have an FMB two meter bar feed. Now often, you tend to find installations of machines like this have either one or the other, but Stuart has opted for both. So we'll tell you the benefits to that shortly, but let's go inside the machine firstly. Now, if you haven't seen inside a Schmeck machine before, it's always good to get the camera in them. Big, chunky turning centers, uh, very heavy duty box guideway, big turrets, uh, lots of power in the driven tools. And if you see to the right where the camera is now, we've obviously got a sub spindle on this machine, which means it is perfectly uh, capable and equipped and ready for unmanned running. Um, and to support that unmanned running, we have this robo job solution here. Now, what this is actually replacing at Stuart's company is a gantry loaded machine. So I, I questioned and asked him why he would choose this over the gantry loader. And the first point was that this is a far more flexible uh, method of loading and unloading a machine. Uh, you don't have to have as much consistency with the parts. You can have bigger components and heavier components using this robo job solution. And he never knows what's coming through the door as he is a subcontract machinist. So it gives him a lot more flexibility. Now also what the, the benefit is you can use this as a, as a normal uh, style turning sensor. So it can be used by an operator to do simple one, two, three, tens, twenties off. And if you don't need the automation at that particular time, you don't have to use it. It can be used as a conventional turning center. Now by having this system, what they'll do is they'll load the parts from the robo job into the machine, they'll machine on the main spindle, they'll then finish the second operation on the sub spindle, the robo job will then take the component out and they will then stack it on a pallet uh, neatly in front of the machine. Now let's then say for example, Stuart gets a different requirement for maybe a longer running job and he's gonna use his bar feed. He has a two meter bar feed attached to this machine so he can go from uh, one operating method to the other very quickly. Now with the bar feed, of course, it's not just about putting the bar in, it's what happens to the components when they come out. And what he's also got here is this uh, conveyor system. Uh, I believe this is like a rotor rack system that comes out of the machine or brings the parts out of the machine and uh, he can then load or have his finished components here. So if he's running bar, a bar feed unit, or he's running his bar feed, and he's doing volume parts, two meter bars, he can use um, this for the dispatch of those components. Total flexibility. He already has commented, uh, commented on, on how he's so excited to get this new solution, and how he's very, very uh, looking forward to using a machine that is a very, very high performing, stable, uh, turning center and that coupled with the automation that he's gone for uh, I'm looking to, forward to certainly going to site at Empire Manufacturing in Essex to actually see this in action but as for now this just shows you what Dugard are capable of and some of the solutions that engineers are investing in these days and um, really to keep those spindles turning.